In this video today, I'm gonna to talk about arm and leg and knee warmers. Um, for me, they're quite underrated uh, bits of kit. Quite often as cyclists, you know, we spend a lot of time researching shorts, jerseys, jackets, shoes, helmets, you name it. Um, and I think the humble arm warmers, leg warmers, knee warmers can kind of be seen as accessories. But in this video, I'd like to argue that perhaps they deserve a little bit more attention than we currently give them. When I first got into road cycling, I didn't really appreciate the arm, the leg and knee warmers for the essential and uh, really versatile bits of kit that they are. Um, and maybe like some other people out there, I was tempted by the stuff that was lower price really. Um, so yeah, I jumped in, got some, and uh, sure enough, after about a season, when I discovered they didn't really fit well, didn't really do a great job of keeping me warm or uh, you know, shielding me from the elements, I decided to invest a bit more research and a bit more money in some half decent bits of kit. So uh, that's how I ended up with the sportful no rain arm warmers, no rain knee warmers, and no rain leg warmers that I've got here at the moment. Um, I actually went for the full set because A, they're matching, uh, and B, because I was really attracted by the fact that uh, the no rain material might shield me from, uh, you know, a bit of uh, rain if I was going out in some changeable conditions. So that said, let's take a super quick look in detail at the Sportful No Rain Arm, Leg and Knee Warmers. We have here the No Rain Arm Warmers, the Knee Warmers and the Leg Warmers. All three are absolutely identical in uh, construction and in fabric. So on the inside here, you've got a nice uh, fleecy rebay material designed obviously to keep you warm. They are warmers after all. Um, Sportful described the construction of these as single seam construction, which means there's one seam running on the inside of all three basically to keep them together and keep watching the review because I talk about the comfort uh, of all of these um, throughout the review. Um, on the outside of the material, all three have got something called a durable water repellent coating. Um, so if I just spray a bit of water here on the material, you'll see the water beading up on the surface there. So they're actually designed to keep you a little bit drier uh, when you get caught out in uh, a shower. The other thing to mention is all three have got this reflective detailing here uh, on uh, both the back of the knees and the arms and the legs, which just helps you to be seen in the dark. So first thing to talk about, are they warm? They are after all called warmers. So if they can't do that job very well, then uh, they're not great warmers, are they? Um, today I'm wearing the no rain arm warmers and the no rain leg warmers as well. Um, it's a spring day, but it's turned a little bit cooler. Um, we're in single figure temperatures, um, bit of a northerly wind, uh, which is why I've put them on really. Um, so they've got the Roubaix type fabric inside and they're doing a really nice job of keeping me warm here today. Um, I've worn them in cooler temperatures and they've still done a really great job even down as far as like three degrees C. And the no rain material uh, is a little bit like a kind of gabba jersey type material really. It's got rain resistance on the outside and it's almost got like a neoprene type texture. Um, there's no direct built-in wind protection there but actually they are doing quite a good job of keeping any wind off today as well. So uh, that combined with the warm fabric, yeah, they're warm. I'd just like to talk for a second about the fit of the arm and the leg warmers. That's important because it determines how comfortable they are and whether they'll stay in place. Um, so let's start with the arm warmers. Um, I checked out online uh, the size guide from Sportful and I should be a medium. These are a medium and they fit as they should do really. Uh, they're not too tight, they're not too long, they seem to be pretty much spot on and importantly they don't pinch uh, around the silicon gripper uh, which can be uncomfortable actually. Um, so they're great. The leg warmers uh, are a little bit long um, but it doesn't cause any significant problems, they're actually fine and again similar to the arm warmers they are really comfortable. Now, I just want to talk about a particular problem specific to the leg warmers. Um, there is a seam um, that runs all the way down the back of the leg warmers, and that's stitched together quite nicely, but it's not 
flat locked that means that it's actually a little bit raised uh, it's not completely flat all the way down the back um, and that seam runs all the way down the back of your leg now when I first put these leg warmers on I have to make sure that that seam is dead center down the back of my leg and down the back of my knee if I don't um, it can be really really uncomfortable um, the problem is after 30 or 45 minutes even when I do that these leg warmers do start to move around and particularly it ends up moving slightly off uh, center at the back of my leg and that creates a sore on the back of my knee um, so for a ride of a couple of hours these are fine but you know if you're on an all day and you're wearing them long term that can cause quite some problems and the only way I found to fix it really is to put a bit of chamois cream on the back of my knees which does uh, help the problem stops the rubbing a little bit um, that problem is exclusive to the leg warmers it doesn't affect the knee warmers uh, oddly enough um, so they perform really well they're great however um, yeah that is a bit of a problem for me but the arms and the knee warmers are absolutely fine for fit. So will these keep you dry? Uh, as you can see, it's not raining. Um, in fact, I put them on today because there was about a 50% chance of rain and it turned out to be sunny and quite dry. Um, yeah, they will keep you dry. I've worn these in some pretty horrendous conditions. Uh, torrential downpours. I've worn the leg warmers in deep winter uh, with a pair of shorts um, and they've kept me dry and they've kept me warm as well, which has been great. The arm warmers are fantastic. You know, I wear them even through the summer months because, uh, you know, if you get caught out in a shower, they just help you to feel a lot more comfortable when you're out on the bike. The durable water repellent finish um, can start to wear off so what's quite important is that when you wash them wash them in a detergent that kind of uh, protects that finish such as like knit wax for example um, and also you can just run a, a warm iron over them at any time and that kind of brings back the water repellent finish which is great um, so will these keep you dry in a nutshell uh, yes drier they're not waterproof uh, but they'll definitely keep you much drier uh, than a pair of regular standard uh, arm or leg or knee warmers for sure. I'm just going to quickly summarise for you now my experience of owning the arm, the knee and the leg warmers. Um, first of all the arm warmers are excellent, fit really well, the sizing matches Sportful size guide, um, they don't dig in, they stay where they should, they are warm uh, and the water repellent uh, coating on the top is fantastic. It really helps you uh, to just to stay more comfortable and to fend off the elements when you're out on the bike in four seasons really. And I have ridden these and do ride them in four seasons. Knee warmers, exactly the same. Comfortable, fit really well, do as they, as they describe really. The leg warmers though, a bit more of a problem. Um, now they've got that seam that I mentioned earlier that runs all the way from top to bottom and that seam for some reason with me rubs uh, the backs of my knees raw and uh, leaves sores. That can become really uncomfortable and even painful on some rides. Um, now they're constructed in the same way as the knee warmers. I don't know why it happens with the leg warmers and not with the knee warmers but it does um, and that's a real shame. So uh, in actual fact, uh, I've now got myself another pair of leg warmers from another brand, still with the water repellent uh, coating. In fact, they're Castelli ones, so they're probably made in the same factory uh, and they don't have the same problem because they've got flat lock stitching. Um, so arm warmers, knee warmers, fantastic, uh, great value for money, great product. Leg warmers, perhaps think about going somewhere else. Thanks for checking out the review and I hope that you'll check out even more of Road Cycling Gears reviews on this channel.